hey y'all welcome to my channel so today i want to talk about something that i get asked all the time natalie how did you get so many followers on instagram okay quick disclaimer i don't have a bazillion followers on instagram i don't have a million followers on instagram but i have enough followers to wear businesses want to send me free stuff do with that information what you want but because of that I'm gonna share with you today how I was able to obtain so many followers so quickly step one using Facebook to grow your Instagram really quickly is to go onto Facebook search all the groups that you are into so let's say you're into makeup so in the search box you're gonna type in makeup Make sure you click groups at the top and it's gonna pull up all the groups that are related to makeup. Join as much as you can. The reason why I say this is because when you join those groups, that's already a community of people who are into the same things that you are into or who are into what your Instagram page is about. So by joining these groups, you're finding like-minded people. When you find like-minded people, you are more than likely able to get people to follow you because people follow people who they like. People follow people who they can relate to. So by joining these groups, you're able to find a mass amount of people who like what you like and can relate to you. If they like what you like and they can relate to you, what are they gonna do? They're more than likely gonna follow you. So this is step one. Now, simply joining the groups isn't going to get them to follow you, but it does get you started in the right process, which leads me to step two. Step two is to participate in these groups as much as possible. People in the groups are gonna be asking for advice, they're gonna be posting their own content, they're gonna be sharing memes and viral videos. All of that is great because it, it makes it easy for you to engage with them. The key is to engage in these groups. The reason why you need to engage is because the more people see your name and the more they see your picture, they become familiar with you. When people become familiar with you, they start to feel like they know you, even though they really don't. They just see your name and they're like, oh, I like what Natalie has to say. She's kind of funny. Or she always gives really good advice. Let me see what she said about this post. So engagement in these groups is key. You want to build your engagement before you start to do your own posting. The reason why you want to do this is, again, when people feel like they know you, they're more than likely to stop and engage on your content when you decide to post. So don't be afraid to like and comment on the posts in the group. Remember, these people are people that are into the same things that you are. It's a community of the same interest. So use that to your advantage. But at the same time, don't forget to be genuine. Make sure that you have genuine feedback for somebody who's asking for advice. Or if you're going to leave a compliment on a post, make sure it's real. You know, if somebody's doing their makeup and you say, oh, I like your foundation, but it's obvious that the foundation doesn't match her skin, everyone around you is gonna know like, girl, you just said that just to say that. And then, you know, it may not work out so nice for you, so. The most important part about when you're engaging in these Facebook groups is to remain genuine. I really can't stress that enough. People can sense when other people aren't being real. So don't be one of those people. Make sure you have valuable feedback to offer. Make sure your compliments are genuine. And I swear this will help build trust with other people. Building trust means people feel like they know you. When people feel like they know you, they wanna keep up with you and see what you're doing and follow you. So just be you and be nice in these Facebook groups, okay? Okay, also in these groups, if you see any follow trains happening, somebody makes a post and they're like, hey, here's my Instagram handle. Follow me and I'll follow back. Participate in these every time you see them. Now, there's a very specific way to participate in these follow trains when they happen. Don't just throw your Instagram name in the comments and then walk away. Start your comment by saying, I will follow everyone back and then drop your Instagram link. 
Now notice how I said link instead of Instagram handle. When you drop your Instagram link, they can click on your link and get taken directly to your Instagram page. From there, they can easily click follow and be done. If you drop your Instagram name, they have to then go to their Instagram and type in your Instagram name and you have to hope that they spell it right to get to your page the very first time. If they have to continuously bounce back and forth between Facebook and Instagram to make sure that, that your name is right or to try to find you because they can't, they're not gonna follow you. I can tell you right now. You have to make things easy for them. So again, if you see these follow trains happening, participate. And when you participate, make sure you say you will follow everybody back. And make sure you follow everybody back. This is key. Like, don't just expect to gain followers and not have to follow anybody. It's kind of like you get what you give. If you want to gain followers, be a follower for other people. The third step to using your Facebook to gain followers on Instagram quickly is to use your friends and family for assistance. I know some people are like, duh, my friends and family are supposed to share my stuff. But when you think about it, whenever you post, how often do they really share? Now, some of you may be very lucky, like myself, who have family and friends who are very supportive, who just will share automatically. Others may not be that lucky, but asking your friends and family to share your content is really one of the best ways to get your stuff out there. Literally, what I do is anytime I have anything that is related to my business, that is related to my personal Instagram, I will send the post after I create it directly to my friends and family in their DMs and I will say, hey, can you share this for me? Hey, please share this. Hey, share this. I literally do it every time. Why not, right? Remember, your friends and family have other friends on their Facebook accounts that you're not affiliated with. Use this to your advantage. It's so crazy how much extra engagement you get on your posts when you just ask your friends and family to do it. Before you ask people to share your content, make sure that you include your Instagram handle in the caption of whatever post you're asking them to share. Because of course, people aren't gonna know to follow you by simply sharing a Facebook post or by simply seeing your Facebook post. No, the hope is they see the post that your family or friends have shared and then they read the caption and see, follow me at just Natalie Ann on Instagram or whatever your Instagram handle is. Now I know not everybody is fortunate enough to have friends and family who are supportive or who will be willing to share their content on their Facebook and that's okay because again, before step three and step one, we went and joined a bunch of like-minded Facebook groups, right? So if all else fails, if your friends and family aren't willing to share or maybe not enough are sharing, fall back on the groups that you joined. Use these groups to your advantage. Again, the groups that you joined have the same interests that you have. So the content that you should be posting and sharing with the groups should be related to what the group is about. So don't be afraid to throw your post in there and say, hey guys, like, comment, and share this for me. Don't be afraid. Like, that's what the group is for, right? So that's it. Those are the steps that I have taken and continue to take to help grow my Instagram using my Facebook page. It's really simple. The key is to be consistent. Every day when you get on your Facebook and you see these Facebook groups that you join pop up, participate, like, and comment. Become a regular figure. If you see a follow train happen, join. Don't be afraid of looking dumb. Don't be afraid of looking stupid because you don't. If other people are participating, if other people are commenting, then you can't look dumb. You can't look stupid because everybody's doing it. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it's true. Lastly, be a walking billboard for yourself. Don't be afraid to drop your Instagram link or make it rain your link like I do. Nobody is gonna push you and your brand harder than you will. So do it. If it's a goal for you, do what you need to do 
to make it happen. I'm telling you, if you follow these steps and you do what I just recommended, you can easily gain 50 to 100 followers a day. The key is consistency. You can't just comment on one post and you can't just participate in one follow train. You can't just ask your friends and family to share one piece of content. You have to be consistent. If you want to grow your Instagram, put in the work. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you found it valuable and I hope you really are able to use these steps to help use your Facebook to gain followers on your Instagram quickly. Now, another disclaimer, this isn't the only thing that I have done to help gain followers on my Instagram quickly. There is a lot of things that you can do on Instagram to help gain followers for Instagram. But I'm gonna save that for another video on another day. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and to subscribe so you can see the next video that I have coming out very, very soon. As always, all I wanna do is just share the information that I wish I had when I first started out. So until next time, don't forget to watch my previous video. Um, and yeah, we'll see you then. Bye.